Hello, everyone. I'm Luis. Thanks for joining me today at Amphenol's Pasadena Technical Center here in Pasadena, California. I'm a product specialist for Amphenol PCD, which is headquartered in Beverly, Massachusetts. Amphenol PCD offers a wide variety of products and solutions for military and aerospace applications to customers around the world. The Amphenol Pasadena Technical Center exists with the intention to provide support to our West Coast customers. One of the latest additions to the APCD product line offerings is the IFE Systems products. If you have ever traveled on an airplane, you probably quickly realize that the trip is more enjoyable when you have something to distract you, whether it is music, a movie, or playing poker on the screen in front of you. All these forms of entertainment stem from the same core concept, making the passenger's experience as enjoyable as possible. In today's times, we usually expect to see a digital screen in front of us and a USB charging port near us when we are in an airplane. There is a screen, there must also be an audio jack to connect your headphones. These services all belong to a part of the commercial aerospace industry known as IFE and C. So what is IFE and C? The acronym stands for In-Flight Entertainment and Connectivity. This encompasses the whole passenger experience, including the display used to watch movies, the headphones provided by the airline, food and drinks, as well as the cabin network system that allows you to connect to the aircraft's Wi-Fi network. IFE and C can be broken into two major groups. One group consists of passenger facing components, including the display unit, audio jacks, the passenger electronic device charging ports, remote controls, and any device that the passenger can see and touch. The other group consists of system components, which includes modems, servers, routers, and wireless access points. The passengers do not directly interface with the system components, but they are very critical in making the passenger components function. The IFE Systems products at Amphenol PCD are passenger-facing components that integrate with the IFE and are designed to enhance the passenger experience. The idea behind in-flight entertainment, after all, is of course in the name itself, to provide entertainment to passengers. But the engineering that goes into the passenger-facing components attacks problems from a higher point of view. Passenger electronic device charging. So as devices evolve, the power range of the devices evolve as well. In the past, when we had the small square iPhones, they would take four and a half watts charge, and that was sufficient. As we know, in today's world, as the technology gets more refined, cameras become more high tech, the product uses more battery life and requires a higher wattage to charge, and the batteries drain relatively faster. So as you can see here, the device power range, the evolution of specifications and the products themselves. So the offerings went from two and a half watts to the future, which is USB-C PD, 100 watts and even more. So what, what I have here now shown are some very popular charging standards that common phones, some of the most common phones use today, support. So USB power delivery at the top, per the specification, can provide up to 100 watts of power. Our module that we have developed so far provides up to 60 watts of power. The USB battery charging spec, which is your classic um, USB-A, but the USB-C also supports it, provides up to seven and a half watts of power. So that'll be coming out of the A port. Another popular charging standard is the Qualcomm Quick Charge, which actually, <laughs> per the specification, provides over 100 watts of power. Samsung Adaptive Fast Charging, up to 25 watts, USB-A and USB-C and your Apple 1 amp, 2.1 amp, and 2.4 amp charging standards, which up to, up to 12 watts at the 2.4 amps, five volts. So what we've done is developed a product after doing some background research, a product that supports the specs that you see on the screen. So the power delivery, BC 1.2, Samsung AFC, Qualcomm Quick Charge, and your Apple up to 2.4 watts. We feel this covers a wide enough range of products to offer what we consider 
an off-the-shelf version of this product. This product comes loaded with safety protection features, both hardware and software. Also has a thermoplastic housing, makes it lightweight and robust. It's designed for aircraft seat power, so it takes in 28 volts DC. And it does what we call auto load balancing. Oh, and of course, the illuminated ports, which are a very nice finish to it. So just to cover some of the most popular phones that we see today, your iPhone 12, Samsung Galaxies, your Google phones, they essentially all support USB PD. And Qualcomm Quick Charge is also another very popular one. The BC, a little difficult to find information, but a lot of times when it supports the USB PD, you kind of get backwards compatibility with the BC. And what I'm going to show now is a video demonstration of the auto load balancing feature of our smart jack. So this is a demo that my colleague and I put together. USB A port plugged in. USB C plugged in. Phone charging, you can see the A voltage and current draw. USB C plugged into the laptop waiting for the charge, it registered, charged. Now you see the 15 volts, 20 volts total between the two. Disconnect the A, you've got the full 20 going to the USB-C. So the, the device itself does all that managing with the embedded firmware and software that's been programmed into the unit. What we offer are two variations essentially that are one we call host configurable where you include the data lines and you can have a upstream communication with the upstream host. Or you can just simply have the standalone version where you just provide 28 volts of power and it does that auto load balancing on its own. So here is a breakdown of the, of the configuration that I showed you here, which is a dual port. You have an A and a C. So at the top here, you have a thermoplastic housing, as I showed here, which has a heat sink behind it, aluminum heat sink. You've got your paw latch assembly for integration, very popular in the aircraft cabin. US, your USB connectors, these are vertical connectors, um, and the internal electronics, all the boards stacked vertically. Then you've got your cable assembly down there and the upstream connector, which is an amphenol Pegasus connector shown there. That's the top level view of, the top level construction of this USB module. Thank you very much. Again, my name is Luis Reyes, Amphenol PCD product specialist for the IFE systems products.